I, I knew it too. We just had to give, you know, each other space. You know what I'm saying? Because we needed it at that point. I said some things that I, you know, I shouldn't have said. And I, you know, I asked God to forgive me for that. You know, you have to ask for forgiveness for things that you won't forgive him for. So I asked God to forgive me for, you know, the things I said. But it was his, you know, who, who started the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? And I just went out and left field with it. And I should have never put him in it because he, he didn't, you know, we had our, you know, we had our problem. But at the end of the day, he a good person. He a good person. Walt don't bother nobody. He don't. I let him just be him, and he let me be me. That's how we work. That's how it works. Our our marriage work. You know, we don't be fussing and fighting. We do have disagreements now, because he hate the cold and I hate the hot. <laughs> we'll have disagreements, but at the end of the day, man, Walt is a hard worker. That boy get up every morning at 4 o'clock in the morning and go to work. And I just look at him, I said, damn, and he by any means necessary, we're going to pay these bills over here, baby. We're going to pay these bills, and that's all that matter, paying the bill. I don't care how nobody look, because once we get enough money, oh, we're going to look better. Mouth is going to be pretty and everything else. But it's only in God. Y'all heard somebody flying down the street. It's only in God's time. And when you good people, God see you. God going to bless us. You watch what I tell you. He gonna bless us. One day we gonna come smiling. The mouth gonna be so pretty, and we gonna be in a big, beautiful home one day. But guess what? It's only in God's time. Cause we're good people. Exactly. Exactly. Because he knew that, you know, his sister started all that stuff, Granny. He knew that because he even said she shouldn't have said nothing. And and I, I just went too far. With a cancer, that's what you expect. We take it too. We're going to either leave it alone or take it too far. And nine times out of ten, we take it too far. You know what I'm saying? We take it too far. Let me see what. See if it's just, it's just. Relationship has ups and downs, and I've been there too, but we worked ours out, and I'm glad you guys did the same. Exactly. Everybody. But see, the thing is, everybody want to portray like their relationship is perfect. No one relationship is perfect. Ain't nothing perfect in this world, y'all. The only reason why they was able to talk about it is because we put it out there like that. You know what I'm saying? When you put your life out there, expect it. You know, and a lot of people don't don't put they, you know, they not YouTubers. And the YouTubers that are, they just don't, they don't tell you. They want their perfect life. And as we know, nothing's perfect. You know, and half of them don't even have a husband. You know what I'm saying? To be perfect with. Thank you, Vic. Vic and Molly, what's up? You know, and I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to talk about nobody, but, you know, a lot of them don't have husbands to know. If they have, you know, they probably ain't with their, their ex anymore. And guess what? That was a sign that it wasn't perfect. If you're divorced, if you've left somebody, y'all relationship wasn't good. Thank you. That's how I look at it. Nothing is perfect. Nothing is perfect. She's a miss and lost. Who, Granny? Who, bae? Hey, Sunflower Butterfly. When you get here? Tell me something bad. Good night, Cindy. Good night, but what's up? How are you, my girl? Don't play with it. I'm surprised you ain't had nothing to say, boo. You must be just getting in here talking some good night, Cindy. Good night, sunflower, butterfly. But what's up? Because I ain't heard from you. You used to be talking to me, baby. You never in the bushes and ain't saying nothing. 